What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. My name is Soy Ricardo and and we have a pretty awesome video this week. Now last week I uh, posted a video about my M1 MacBook Pro and uh, how it performed, you know, using some of the programs that I also use on a daily basis. Um, like Photoshop and InDesign since I use this laptop mostly for work. So um, yeah, that video was about just three specific programs, which is Photoshop, Lightroom, and InDesign. If you haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and link it up right here. Um, so a lot of comments on that video were mentioning how do other Adobe programs work? Um, a lot of people were saying, talking about Illustrator, how does Illustrator work? And Illustrator is probably the uh, only other program that came up uh, a lot more than anything else. So um, going over some of the comments, I decided that, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about using Illustrator and see how well it performs on this new M1 MacBook. So um, yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. We're basically gonna dive deep into Adobe Illustrator and we're gonna redesign one of my old logos uh, from one of my old Instagram accounts. So we're gonna go ahead and put it through the test, see how it works and uh, see if we encounter any issues uh, in Illustrator um, in this new MacBook M1. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump. I got my screen recording and uh, you guys are gonna be able to see, uh, I guess the whole process. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, redesign this logo. Alright guys, so that was this week's video. Now, as far as everything that I was able to use, um, exporting layers, converting stuff into outlines, um, everything 
to the knowledge of what I have here in uh, Illustrator, everything worked great. Um, I mean, obviously my designs were not, you know, very difficult or anything or very advanced by any way, just something that I could do in Illustrator because it's something that I've done in the past. So I am by no means a professional uh, logo maker or anything like that. But I know I do like to mess around with all of these other programs as well. I wanna be at least a little sufficient in every single one, at least, at least. So um, I just kinda wanna learn uh, about all these programs. So as far as Illustrator, everything worked. Everything worked great. I didn't have any issues. Nothing even crashed once, like nothing crashed. I'm gonna show some images of the logos. Everything exporting wise was fine. You know, no, nothing to really report here. Sorry to disappoint, but uh, I mean, these computers work so great, so. Now, like I said, this was pretty basic logo making, you know, nothing crazy, but it worked great. I didn't have one single issue with it, uh, at least the whole time that I was trying to make these logos. But yeah, guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out a lot. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit and smash the notification bell so you guys can get notified when I upload future videos. And um, yeah, if you have any other suggestions on the next program that I should try to test out, just leave a comment on this video and I will definitely, definitely try to make uh, another video like this using a different program. Like I said, I am not uh, an expert in any of these. I would like to try as much of them as I can so we can see if they work. As far as Illustrator, this one works great. And uh, now that we knock this one out, that's pretty much it for me. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Peace. What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. My name is Soy Ricardo and, and, I hope the uh, audio in this video sounds awesome because I moved the mic from the current location to this location. So hopefully, hopefully this sounds awesome. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up or no thumbs up. <laughs>